Greetings guys, gals and non-binary pals and welcome back to another virtual pride video. Today it is Monday and as you know that means I'm going to sit down, I'm going to do my makeup and I'm going to talk about something that I think needs talking about. And today, given everything going on in the world and the fact that it's Pride Month, I thought I would sit down and I would talk about white gay privilege and the discrimination queer people of colour face within the LGBT community. As we're all aware, two weeks ago, 46-year-old George Floyd was murdered by police officers in Minneapolis. And this was the final straw, the straw that broke the camel's back and pushed the world into taking action and fighting back. So in light of all of that happening and in light of the Black Lives Matter movement, which is blowing up and booming all over the world, as it should be all the time, I wanted to talk about the discrimination of queer people of color because they they face the racism and the fear that all black people do, but they also face homophobia. It's really sad and really awful because we are oppressed as LGBT people and people of color are oppressed too. And put that together and you have these queer people of color who are doubly oppressed because there is racism within the LGBT community and there's homophobia within the black community. 60% of queer people of color have faced discrimination and racism from within the LGBT community. While queer white skinned people have the comfort and the safety of LGBT safe spaces like gay bars, there is often discrimination against queer people of color at these places, with some of these places denying them access and denying them equal treatment within them. And we need to remember that intersectionality exists and that there are black gay people and there are black trans people and there are black disabled people and there are black disabled LGBT people and their lives are included in that too. Although racism within the LGBT community exists always, it is especially prevalent during Pride Month. And this is because the LGBT community come together and we celebrate and we embrace ourselves and we, we have this time to show ourselves and be like, yes, this is our time. This is what we fought for. Look at all the liberties that we have fought for and that we have now gotten. It's spreading love and acceptance and saying love is love and we are all equal and it's all about equality. Yet these queer people of color can't always celebrate that. It's we are all equal except for you. And police brutality exists, right? That's what we're protesting against at the moment. We all know that people of color are treated much more brutally and met with much more violence from the police and we all know there's a police presence at Pride. It only takes a minor slip up for a person of color to be met with consequences that are much harsher than that of a white person. So during Pride when we're celebrating, if a person of color slips up, they're going to be treated worse than we are. The color of their skin still affects them in negative ways. It doesn't affect us. We still have the shield of the color of our skin and they don't have that. So while we're all celebrating, they're still afraid. Queer people of color fight for survival. White people of color fight for marriage equality. Yes, marriage equality is so important and the stopping of discrimination against the LGBT community is so important. But survival? And the fact that we often overlook that that's what they're fighting for and the fact that we are still excluding them. We want equality. We want marriage equality. We want to be accepted as who we are. But so many people aren't fighting for them. We have to accept and acknowledge that our skin is a shield and that we carry privilege and it provides us with opportunities over those of color, regardless of your sexuality. And just because you too are oppressed, that is not an excuse to not stand up for others who are also oppressed. 
minorities support minorities, oppressed support oppressed, because you can't support one group of the oppressed and not another. You know how it feels. So why would you put someone else through that? You don't have it worse, so stop acting like you do. We have it worse than straight white people, but we do not have it worse than queer people of color. And you can't deny that and acting as though you have it just as bad as ignorant. When you see people being racist, call them out. Even if there are no people of color around, if you hear someone insulting people of color or saying they don't belong here or saying anything discriminatory at all, call them out because that is not okay and that is never okay. Stand up against racism and stand with our fellow LGBT members who are discriminated against and treated worse than we are, who are at risk for being attacked for twice as many reasons. Another way you can see this is through the fact that we wouldn't have Pride Month without black trans women. Marsha P. Johnson threw the first brick at the Stonewall riots. We owe so much to her. I am doing a whole video on Stonewall this week and I'm doing a whole video on Marsha P. Johnson next week, by the way. So there will be more information on that coming soon if you are interested in learning about that because it is such an important part of our history and I really want to share more about it and I really want you all to be educated on it and to know and hopefully gain some more respect and understanding of what these LGBT people of colour have done for us and the amount that they are overlooked and not recognised and you can see, you can see the white privilege within our community based on the fact that the film called Stonewall based off of the event displays a white gay man throwing the first brick and starting those riots. They erased those black trans women and their importance because white men still prevail. White men are still at the top of the food chain. The hierarchy still exists within our community LGBT white men, LGBT white women, LGBT men of colour, LGBT women of colour. That's how it works. That's how it's always worked. And to deny that that hierarchy doesn't exist just because we as a whole are an oppressed group is ignorant and it's you denying any form of responsibility. You like the fact that you have power within our community, that this is the one place where you aren't oppressed. That you're at the top of the food chain within our community and you don't want that power taken away from you. It's, well, I'm oppressed, so it's not my responsibility. But you can still be racist. You can still be sexist. You can still be ableist and gay. Denying the existence of racism doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Saying that you haven't seen racism doesn't mean it doesn't exist. At this moment in time, saying all lives matter because you feel discriminated against, and you're saying, what about me? I am an LGBT member. I'm discriminated against. What about me? My life matters. Yes, your life matters. And yes, you face discrimination and oppression and it's not fair and we will continue to fight for that. But black lives matter too. And that includes black LGBT people. And the fact that you're excluding them from the narrative and pretending that they don't exist because you're saying black lives matter, but what about me? LGBT people are included in that. LGBT black people, they matter. The fact there is the black community that are discriminated against and face oppression and are fighting against police brutality and fighting for their lives right now. And the LGBT people in that are so often left out because there are people out there with Black Lives Matter signs who tell them their lives don't matter. And then the fact we have this other oppressed group, the LGBT community, and they're not accepted there either. We're fighting for equality over here and they're fighting for equality over here and these group of people feel like they don't belong in either because both groups are telling them they don't matter and they don't have a place.
Where does that leave them? So what I say to you, fellow white queers, is acknowledge your privilege. Acknowledge and understand that you haven't been erased from our history. Remember that while we're celebrating pride right now, they're fighting for their lives. Remember that we can stand up with them, but we're never gonna feel the same amount of fear. Remember that you can't act like you understand how they feel. Your skin still opens doors for you. Remember that you can use your privilege to stand up for them. That you can call people out and that you can be a friend. Remember that we haven't been left out of our history. No, remember that we've been given more credit for our history than we deserve. Remember that within our community, we are trying to erase them and what they have done for us. Remember that just because we are oppressed and discriminated against doesn't mean we can't contribute to the oppression and discrimination of another group of people. Remember that for the month of June, while we stand here and preach equality and acceptance of everyone, that includes them. Remember that you can't stand here and fight for one minority group while continuing to oppress another or deny their oppression at all. Do you realize how hypocritical that is? Ignoring the fact that racism exists within our community just because we face oppression is ignorant and it's showing that you want to maintain your place at the top of the hierarchy within our community. We don't want a hierarchy within our community. We don't want a hierarchy within society at all. So stop upholding that. If you're fighting for equality, you're fighting for equality. And if you are an LGBT person who is angry at the way these protests are being carried out, and you're angry at the fact there are riots and you're saying, this could be handled so much better. Remember how we got to where we are. Remember to thank those women of color who started the fight for the freedoms that we have now, because we wouldn't be where we are now without them. And remember it was riots and acts of violence against police that got us to where we are. Queer or not, your white skin protects you. Stand up for what's right and stop denying the existence of racism. Stop denying that black lives are seen as less than white lives and stop denying that doesn't exist within our community that's meant to be a safe and welcoming space. We need to stand together. We need to fight together. I'll be doing a video on the history of Stonewall this Saturday and then next Monday, I'll be doing a video talking all about Marsha P. Johnson, who she was and her part in how we are where we are. Please come along to those because I think that it is really important for us to all be aware of this and to know where we came from and how we got to where we are today. And it is so important to acknowledge what these people have done for us and to recognize and celebrate them. I hope I see you there. I do have two videos between now and my Stonewall video on Saturday. On Thursday, there is a video about mental health and dealing with mental health. And then on Friday, I'm doing an art review where I'm looking at a bunch of art that you sent me and just responding to it and praising it. I hope you've taken something away from this video and I hope that we all stand together and fight for what's right and true equality for everyone. I will see you on Thursday for my video about mental health. Until then, stay safe, keep fighting. I love you, happy pride.